Hi there, I'm Paul Gardner from paulgardner.info and today I want to talk about the amazing eProductivity Reference Database. It's um, amazing in its own right and it's free and you can get it from the eProductivity site uh, which you should be able to see on your screen right now but uh, not only is it, is it great in its own right with the, the way it integrates with eProductivity Mail just makes it absolutely fantastic. My friend Vaughan Rivet has um, blogged about it at his site and uh, what I want to do now is just give you a quick tutorial about how to go about um, getting it and all that. There is a free download link there obviously and once you download it you just put it in the right place and then what happens is we do this. Let's uh, go to our home and we'll go file application new and from your list there we'll choose eProductivity Reference Template and we will give it a title name and let's call it a um, test reference just for the sake of this and click OK. What happens is the Lotus Notes will then get it all organized for you, it doesn't take very long at all. It's there already, you have to click I read and understood and agree to the license uh, agreement terms, accept that click OK for that and uh, probably best if you click that to don't show that window at startup every time and start using eProductivity now. And there is your database. It's it's really quite amazing. Um, everything by category, uh, you get uncategorized and you get told about it. And I don't really want to go too much into just what it does. I'll do another one on that later maybe. Uh, if you have a look at eProductivity preferences from that place there's a lot of options there for you. Um, you can get that welcome screen back at startup if you really want it. And in the advanced ones, there's, there's things. And in the journal, um, you're allowed journal entries. Journal entries are entries that will put a date in for you automatically. And it's really, really quite cool, quite useful. I use it on another one of mine. But for the moment, let's just um, close that. And we'll indeed even close that. And what I'll do is I will go to my mail file here and watch what happens here. Now I'll go eProductivity Preferences, go to General, and then click on Reference Databases. Now, you'll note here there is room for three reference databases one, two, and three. I've already got something in the first two. So, what I'll do is I'll go to the third one. And you'll note I need to paste its location from here. Now, if I want the location, I go back to home, I right click on the correct one, and go application, copy as link. That simple. Go back to my preferences and click on paste from clipboard. And there it is. I want to click valid destination for quick copy, quick paste, and copy into new reference entry. Very good reason for that. Um, leave all those ticked. If you see here, it says to have reference database appear in the navigator, which you do want to go to navigation tag and select show on main navigator. So we'll do that. There's the navigation tag there. And we will say on uh, on the main navigator, yes, we want reference database number three as well. So we will click that. There we go. Save and close. It shouldn't take too long at all. Hopefully I'm running uh, Lotus Notes 8.5, which is a little bit slower than 8.5.1. Now, what I really want to do here is close down my mail and then reopen it so all the changes take effect correctly. And watch what happens here. Let's say I open this email here, and it doesn't really matter what's in it for the moment. I might want to save the whole thing, or even just a part of it, into my reference database. Let's say I want to, I want to talk about this issue focuses on the alcohol debate. Hope you find it stimulating. Let's say that was quite a long thing and I wanted to save that to my reference database because it was something important to save. I can go quick capture, Q capture there, and it'll say where does it want to go? I want it into my test reference. Okay, and it'll save just that bit in the test reference. I put a title in, alcohol, uh, it's got a category of quick reference already, but I might want to add some more categories to it. Alcohol, um, social justice, who knows what else. Oops, didn't spell that right. 
click OK, save and close. And I don't want to be prompted for that in future. Okay. Now, if you look here, if I want to go to that, there it is there, test reference. Let's just open the whole database up. And you'll see here's everything here. Now, it's there, it's in under alcohol, quick reference. I can look by category. I can look by anything that I like. And it really is quite cool. It's a marvelous way of having a reference database. And I would strongly suggest that even if you don't run eProductivity, but if you do run Lotus Notes, you get it. But if you run um, eProductivity Mail, you definitely need this as well. Okay, that's it from me for today. Bye.